We're now going to do a check on the high voltage circuitry of the CTC28 tube type color TV. I got this high voltage meter uh, from a member on videokarma.org. It's made by Pomona Electronics, indicates kilovolts DC. And let's see if we've still got a charge on it. I actually got it hooked up. No. But it, I, I tested it and it did seem to work okay. I might slightly realign it so the pointer is right at zero. But it reads kilovolts directly. And we can get a better look at the probe once I've tested it. I've also got the DC voltmeter hooked up in the cathode circuit of the 6BK4 regulator tube. And I brought the cathode terminals out here to a test strip so that we can easily test it. Those are across the 1000 ohm resistor in the cathode circuit. So now what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and plug it in here. And I'll let it warm up. I'm going to set it to actually before I do that let me well, uh, we can do a check on it now. I, I should have re-zeroed the meter out there. I can hear that it's, it's getting warmed up now. So it sounds like we've got high voltage. Let's do a voltage check. We'll put it on a lower range. And we've got 0 0.84 volts, which is 880... 0.85 volts, which would be 850 microamps regulator current. Now let's check DC kilovolts. And it's a little, a little below 25, which is certainly good. I think 25 is what they recommend for these. We'll now check regulator current at brightness fully down, because that's when the regulator is going to be drawing the absolute most. And it's 1.03, so it's uh, 1,030 microamps. And let's check actual high voltage. Just a slightly bit lower. So I think I'll just leave this, leave this alone. It looks like it's just about where it should be. I might refer back to my service manual to double check, but I think on these sets 25 kilovolts is what's recommended. And it looks like regulator current is at an acceptable range, so I'll turn it off now. Sometimes I've seen the regulator current being way too high, like up to 1.5 milliamps or 1500 microamps, and you can end up overloading the flyback circuit that way. But now with the HV meter, we've got a, a, a way to actually measure high voltage. I haven't had a meter up to this point. It's something I've always been wanting. But we'll take a closer look at it now. What it's got is a big, long resistor inside of this tube. And the only problem with this probe was that the top was cracked, but I just super glued it. That seems to work good. And let me, I'll just re-zero that meter, but I think it's, it's, it wasn't very off, far of zero. Now, where I really get, I was pretty confident that the HV on this was where it should be. Where I'm really going to need to use this probe is on the Sylvania set, which is down the hall, which appears to have no high voltage or very low HV. So the next thing I'm going to do on this now is we'll do a uh, purity and uh, RGB uh, level setup on it. But I'll need to go down and get the mirror so I can see what I'm doing from behind the scenes.